what's up guys welcome back to my channel i feel like this is so weird to record a video because it's been so long it's at least been a couple of months um so there's been a lot that's been going on these last few months um but there's so much to talk about so i'm kind of just gonna cut it short and then um just kind of give you guys an update of where i'm at right now and what's going on with my life so a few months ago when i recorded when I last room, sorry guys, I just ate and for some reason when I eat and I get full, I get like really bad hiccups and I just feel like really full here in my throat. So if you guys see me struggling, <clears throat> I'm okay. I'm just full. Last time I talked to you guys, I was living at another place. Um, I moved here about two months ago, bought a house and um, been here ever since. Um, back when i recorded the video i was going through a lot of physical problems um <clears throat> just with pain dealing with pain that i've had <clears throat> so i was losing a lot of weight and in the process i thought i was having pain because i was losing weight um i had went to go see my surgeon a few months ago when the pain started and she pretty much just told me um i have pain because of all the weight that I've lost and my joints are getting used to my new body so I was like fine sure whatever you know maybe that's what it is and you know I'm just gonna keep I guess trying to work out so my body can get used to my body I don't know but <clears throat> we left I left that day and I was just like pretty much okay so this is why I'm having pain I'll be fine whatever you know it should go away and um days went on and days went on and no the pain was still there um, I actually felt like it kept getting worse and you know it's very hard to explain what type of pain I have or what it feels like um, it's very unexplainable all I know is that it's from the waist up and it's just somewhere inside and it just felt like my bones my joints were like being pulled by my nerves or something that's what it felt like and i just felt like i just wanted to crawl up into a little ball and just kind of hold myself really tight and just shake and there was times <clears throat> even to this day there's times where i get that pain and i just want to run to the bathroom and just vomit because i feel like my body is just going through so much <clears throat> that it can't support it and i just end up vomiting and most of the time i don't vomit really much anything because i don't eat that much um, so a lot of times I just vomit bile. I mean, it's just super, super yellow and it's really nasty, disgusting. Um, and sometimes after I throw up, I feel better. And sometimes I f after I throw up, I feel worse. Um, so <clears throat> I got really tired of this pain. And uh, my surgeon had pretty much told me this pain continues. And if it's not getting better, then go talk to your primary doctor and then see what it is or what it can, what it can be. So I want to go talk to my doctor um and they ran a lot of lab um did x-rays and before i went to go see my doctor i had been into the er and i had been into urgent care so, so many times and they kept doing lab work and everybody was just telling me that i'm fine that there is nothing and um to go see my primary doctor and so honestly i just felt like i was going crazy because i knew that if i went to go see my doctor and if she ran lab that everything was going to look normal because that's what everybody had been to telling me <clears throat> so i was very concerned i'm very like worried that we weren't going to know where this pain is coming from yes they did the lab work everything came back normal i was like great like what the hell you know what is it? And then after the lab work, um, they're like, okay, we're gonna go to the next step. So after the next step was uh, x-ray. X-ray looked totally fine, there was nothing. I was just like, at that moment, I was just like mentally drained and I was so close to just going to Seattle or going somewhere where there's like a badass specialist to figure out what the is going on because I was so desperate to know and I needed to know. So, um, x-ray looked fine next step was mri so i got my mri um on the 21st and god it was so weird it was so weird like guys i am not claustrophobic at all but when i was in there i honestly felt like i just wanted to shout and i wanted to tell the guy like get me the hell out of here because i felt like i was gonna die i almost felt like my breath 
Like, I, like I couldn't breathe. It was so fucking weird. <clears throat> oh, and I'm recording in my bathroom, by the way, because this is the only place where I have, like, good lighting. My room is too dark. The living room's not too dark, but the kids are too loud, so um, that's why I'm here. Anyways, let's continue. So we did the MRI, got a call from my doctor the next day and, well not from my doctor, but my doctor's medical assistant and she told me, hey Marie, Castillo wants you to make an appointment with her um, to go over your results. So I was like, okay, fine. So it was, I think, like a Thursday, a Wednesday when I got my MRI, Thanksgiving was Thursday and then every, pretty, everybody is pretty much off on that Friday and so I had to wait until Monday. Um, actually, I had my appointment on Tuesday because there was no opening on Monday. So I was very anxious to know like what is going on and um, so and then Tuesday came and uh, when she went in there she seemed calm so I just felt like she was going to tell me you know there's nothing wrong like everything's fine with you and that day I had a really bad pain I had a really bad headache so I was just at, at the end of my other rope if that makes any sense and if she was to tell me that i had nothing and i was normal i was just gonna lose it like i was seriously gonna lose it so she went in and pretty much started telling me um so mri everything look i um, mean look look fine um the only thing was that there is a pituitary gland i don't know if i'm saying that right something like that and the the gland is very enlarged so we do need to do another MRI to kind of look more into it and see why is enlarged or what's going on So I was already feeling like worried and I started thinking well, maybe that's why I'm getting this pain You know, maybe it's because that thing that's going on in my freaking head. Maybe that's why I'm getting all these migraines um, she told me that and then after that she was going over all my other labs and I'm pretty much protein, all that, everything looks good. And um, then towards the very end, she started telling me, and then there's something I really need to tell you and something very important. And I'm just like, what is it? Like, tell me. So she was like, you have rheumatoid arthritis. Um, from all my patients, you're the worst. I mean, your numbers are very high. And I just started bawling. I was bawling, I was crying because I finally got answers as to why I'm getting so much pain. I was so happy, but at the same time I was so scared because I don't know what the hell rheumatoid arthritis was. If I'm gonna be okay, you know, like what's gonna happen to me, what's gonna happen to my joints. I knew it was something what that have to do with my immune system and um, was my immune system gonna fail? Am I gonna die? Like there's so much thing that was running through my head. I just really wanted to know, did I get this crap because of my surgery? Because before this surgery, other than just being really fat and morbidly obese, I was healthy. I had no type of issues, no blood pressure, no high blood pressure, nothing. You know, and obviously I wanna get the surgery because I was tired of being overweight. I was tired of feeling tired, but I had no, no health problems. So this was just, there was just so much going through my mind and so much questions I had for her. But at the moment I was just like, get it treated. What do we do from now? That all these questions I had, I didn't ask her because I guess I was just in shock. I was just in shock to finally know what it is that I had. and. I just wanted to get to the bottom of it and just get it treated and make the pain that I have go away. So um, she just told me, your numbers are really high. Um, I'm gonna send you to a rheumatologist. The rheumatologist is going to um, talk to you more about um, this disease, immune disorder disease, whatever the hell it's called, and um, go from there. Um, she did prescribe me some steroids that <clears throat> I just started taking today and I'm getting a lot of side effects. I've just been very tired. Um, my arms have been hurting. My joints on my arms have been hurting. And I don't know if it's normal, but I'm going to go in tomorrow because I have to drop off some paperwork. And I'm going to um, see if I can possibly talk to her and see if this is normal because it hurts. Um, right now, I don't feel that much pain. Um, but, yeah. 
So she requested another MRI, <clears throat> the other MRI is to, you know, see um, more in depth of my pituitary gland. The MRI was today. Um, I was there for a good, like, two hours, not even kidding. I got to, like, around 4, 4, like, 4.20. My appointment wasn't until 4.45. Actually, it's not until, it wasn't until 5.10. I thought it was at 4.45 because that's the time they told me to get there. So I got there early. Um... And well, I do work there, so I, I needed to print out some stuff. So I took advantage and I printed out some paperwork that my doctor needs for me, um, just to kill time. And I did that, and then I went to my MRI, and uh, <clears throat> the whole process I think took like a good hour. Um, this MRI was done with contrast, so um, I had to be in the tube for like I would say 30 minutes, and then after the 30 minutes, he took me out, and then he injected contrast in me. And put me back in the tube for another 15 minutes. It just seemed like forever. I couldn't sleep because that stuff that they put in me just made my headache even worse. And it was horrible. It was just such a horrible feeling. But I'm hoping now my doctor sees what's going on. And we get to figure out, you know, what this pituitary gland is doing to my brain. And um, I guess get it treated. And because I'm tired of my headaches too so yeah um, I really don't have much to say other than I haven't been doing videos because of everything that's been going on I on top of working so much I just been in pain and on top of pain well I was moving a little bit ago and it's just so much that's what's going on in my life and um, I know a lot of you guys have been messaging me and telling me like make a video do an update you didn't give up did you and it's like no I didn't I've actually lost 145 pounds or 149 almost 150 pounds so yeah I'm losing and I'm still losing which I'm very happy about but to me right now this is not the most important thing losing weight to me right now I just want to be healthy and I obviously I'm not um, and now I have this that's going on so I need to try and treat it and um, I requested a short-term disability from work just two days ago so I'm waiting to see if it gets accepted and um, <clears throat> and if it does well I'm just gonna stay home and I'm just gonna rest um, because my body has just been going through so much and I just it's so hard to work with pain it really is it's so hard to work with pain it, um, and for anybody out there that knows or that has this knows exactly what I'm talking about it sucks it sucks and sometimes I just I don't want to even talk I honestly don't I just want to sit down or lay down and not even lay down actually even hurts but that's like the best I can do is lay down and just crawl up into a little ball and just mind my own business and just sleep because when I sleep I don't feel the pain um, so yeah guys, I just wanted to give you guys this update of where I am in life and um, what's going on with me. So um, tomorrow we'll be seeing if um, they get the results and hopefully I can make an appointment to go over my second MRI and uh, talk to my doctor about this. But the steroid has been driving me crazy. So I will see you guys next time and um, thank you for watching. Thank you guys for your love, for your support and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.